In this video, I'll show you how to fix the critical process dyad blue screen error on Windows 10 and 11. This error can occur due to various reasons, such as a faulty hardware, like your printer or keyboard, outdated or corrupted drivers, or damaged Windows system. I'll guide you through eight methods to help you resolve the issue. Let's get started. Method one, starting in the advanced options. If you're stuck on the blue screen, Start your computer in advanced options. To do this, press and hold the power button until your PC or laptop shuts down. Turn it on again by pressing and holding the power button. As soon as you see the Windows logo, press and hold the power button to forcefully shut down the computer. Now you need to repeat this process three times until you see the please wait screen followed by advanced options menu. Once in the BIOS settings, Click on the troubleshoot and then advanced options and here you'll find various tools to help you fix the problem. Start with the startup repair to automatically fix Windows issues. If it works, great. If not, move on to the next step. For the second method, let's go to the command prompt. From the advanced option menu, you'll run a few commands to fix disk errors or any other issues. You can find these commands in the video's descriptions. The first command is boot rec.exe space forward slash fix mbr and hit enter. And it should say the operation completed successfully. Then type boot rec.exe space forward slash fix boot and hit enter. If you get access denied, process with boot rec.exe space forward slash scan os. After these commands, let's type bootrec.exe space forward slash rebuild dbcd and hit enter. Then type bcd boot space c colon backslash windows space forward slash s space c colon and hit enter. It should say boot file successfully created. Next, run check disk space forward slash F space forward slash R and followed by your Windows drive letter, which is usually the C drive, and hit enter. Now this command might take some time to complete, so just be patient. Finally, run SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. This command will also take some time, so just be patient. Once it's done, it may say Windows Resource Protection found corrupted files and successfully repaired them. Type exit and click on continue to see if the problem has been fixed. For the third method, let's disable the malware protection. If the issue persists, go back to the advanced option menu, click on troubleshoot, then advanced options and select start up settings. Click restart and try disable early launch anti-malware protection by pressing the number eight on your keyboard. If it doesn't work, try disable automatic restart after failure by pressing the nine key. For the fourth method, we need to go into the safe mode. So let's go to the start up settings and enter the safe mode by pressing the number four key. Once in safe mode, open Windows Search and type Disk Cleanup and select it from the suggestion. Select all files for cleanup, including temporary files and items in Recycle Bin. Then click OK and delete all those files. For the fifth method, we're going to run the hardware and device diagnostics. Right click on the Windows icon and select Run. And let's type msdt.exe space hyphen id space device diagnostics. And click OK. Follow the prompt to delete and fix hardware issues. Afterward, open the control panel 
and let's go to programs and features and uninstall any recently installed applications or Windows update that may be causing the issue. Method six is system restore. If the issue persists, let's go back to the advanced options and select system restore. Select a restore point and follow the instructions. Method seven is power flushing by turning off your PC, unplugging all cable, including your mouse, keyboard, USBs, ethernet cable, then hold the power button for 20 to 25 seconds. Then reconnect everything and turn it back on and check to see if the issue has been resolved. The last method is resetting your PC. If all else fails, go to the advanced options, select reset this PC and choose either keep my files or remove everything. For the best result, choose cloud download if you have an internet connections. All right, and I hope one of these solutions will help you resolve the issue. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.